Ernesto Lima makes up that five. A lot of experience coming in off the bench for Coach Conti as well. It will be the uh, point guard battle of Osmina uh, Huertas against Paul Stoll that we want to watch. And, uh, well, we a long way to this one. There are a couple of the Brazilian faces, they all head in towards the final bit of talking from Coach uh, Gustavo Conti still ready to go into the huddle. This Brazilian team, when they are firing, they are tough to beat. They move the ball so well, the speed of movement so quick. And they need to play at their best today. So Vito Benite with his team, not in uniform again today. Scott Machado moving out of the roster after the loss. And against Puerto Rico, Gabriel Galvanini coming in. 23 year old forward from Flamengo. In Mexico, we said it was a high scoring game against Colombia, 89 to 93, but they eventually went down. Tight game heading into the fourth quarter. And Columbia managed to score them 14 to 9 to take the win. Jorge Gutierrez off the bench, 19 points to lead the way. Five guys in double figures for Mexico. That's 16 for Paco Cruz, 12 for Giron, 13 for Jaimez, and then 10 apiece for Gutierrez and Israel Gutierrez, that is, and Paul Stoll. There is Gabriel Giron making two threes on his way to his 12 points as Brazil and Rafael Miniero let's walk it over before heading out onto the floor to get this game underway Welcome to Jarga do Sol, then Brazil against Mexico. World Cup qualifying action, America's region. Mexico win the jump ball. First possession. There's a man to man defense for Brazil. Paul Stoll collects it, comes off the screen, looking for Amigo. Amigo doesn't know where the ball is. Eventually gets it. Not really a scoring threat, Amigo. Giron takes it in, finishes it off. That's why he had a strong game last time out. Giron can be an X factor, can give some uh, bonus points for this Mexico team. Um, Lizarda and uh, Paco Cruz matching up. That'll be a, a, a battle to watch, as will this one. Tuartes to the inside. Augusto Lima with the finish to the delight of the crowd. And the veteran Augusto Lima back in Malaga now in the ACB, the big man. And, uh, a very long professional career. As Amigo hands it to Giron. Giron thinks about taking the shot. He actually tried to make the pass. It was deflected. And here comes Brazil. A loose one from Miniero. Uh, possession back with Mexico. Turnovers from both teams. In fact, it was uh, yeah, Mendel with the uh, turnover. My mistake. Apologies to uh, Miniero. Giron now moves it on. Jaime. Now Stoll for Amigo. Amigo, lovely little reverse finish. It's good. So he's not a big scorer, but that's the type of plays he can make. Run into the rim. With the advantage. Well designed play from Mexico. The new and aggressive coverage was coming from Brazil. And this is where Brazil may have a big advantage. Size as Lazada sneaks in, can't finish. Now Mendel to Huertas. Huertas organizing. 
It's going to be the stack action as Lozada pops out. Open three to his prompt. And it's going to be Mexico possession. Conti on that side. Sideline working hard. Amigo helps bring the ball down. Now he'll set the screen for Stolt. No. Changes for Giron. Paco Cruz. Not really had a touch yet. Here he is. Someone from the lead man for Mexico. Let's see if we can see why. Yes, we can. That is Paco Cruz at his very best. A couple of dribbles. Gets the mismatch. Steps back and a quick start for Mexico. He said they scored 90 points on Thursday night in defeat. She only scored nine in the fourth quarter, so you can see how well they scored throughout the rest of the game. Before hitting that brick wall as Lima attacks quickly, draws the foul. Hamid picks up the foul, picks up his first. I always think Fabian Hamid is a real X factor for Mexico. Such an important piece. They don't really have a high-level replacement for him with the, what he's able to bring. Mm, superb rebounder, especially at the offensive end for them. Mexico pick up the steal. He stole to Cruz. Cruz extra pass. You're on. Nice fake. Stole will be open. That's great play from Mexico. They deserve that. A swift start. 10-2. And uh, it's going to be a timeout here. Mexico, superb in the first three minutes here. Brazil are stunned. The crowd is silent. And a quick timeout coming. Time out from Brazil. They must be frustrated with their start. Said it's rare they'll lose two games back to back. In the Americas region, they've done exactly that. They will not want to make it three, especially here at home. Uh, good, good Dero done a fabulous job getting his team ready for this one. They've jumped out to the early lead. Substitutions have come in for Brazil. As, uh, Marcus Gias and Cristiano Felicio come in. As does Jorginho. So five dash to the cutting man in Felicio. Misses everything. And Mexico holding firm yet again. And as quick as the offense has been for them, just two points for Brazil. Thanks to some good defense. Stole again, sees the, the uh, coverage coming, finds Amigo. Great opportunity for him. Like this. It's about pulling up another turnover. It's been a problem for Brazil. Disjointed start here. Cruz stops, gets his man in the air, carries on the cut. Now Amigo. He's not backing down from the challenge. Amigo. Can get that one, he's got to get back. Here's Felicio as it tips out of bounds. Well, the challenge for Mexico here is when they go to the bench, you know, how much depth do they have? Can they maintain the strong start that they've had? Need to make a sub. And, uh, no signs of slowing down so far.
like this. Just going to kick out. Yes, this is the three. He shot it well and in the first half of the game against Puerto Rico. Brazil had a sizable lead in that one. It's to uh, him. Really. That's all for the uh, loose ball. So now called against Mexico. Is that the second against Imez? He said he's a man that can't really afford to lose. He's presuming it's another one, but they tip it back. Is two fouls on Fabian Heimed. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with him. Looks like he may go to the bench here. Yeah, he does. Can afford him to foul out early. Is Owen Avalos in number five? Stop. To Giron. Giron has the step. Tries to go all the way. Can't finish it. Nico. Great work to keep it alive. And now Avalon makes it. Well, what an introduction from him. Said Jaimez is that X factor. They've gone smaller here. And uh, he shows why. He's the first sub in. Knocks down another three for Mexico. Kick out from Gias. Doesn't go for Mendel. And stole. Kiss to the rebound. What a start for Mexico. 13 to 2. Cruz loses it. Chance here for Brazil. They've got numbers. Three on one. Virginio doesn't get the roll. Maybe hit the line for two. Oh, Love that one to drop. Discussion. Let's have a look at this one. Stoll says there wasn't any contact, but he clearly hits him on the side of the head, which is exactly what Jorginho said to him. And Stoll was moaning about the call. Three fouls against Mexico. Brazil. Poor start for them so far in this one. Already three turnovers. Just one of seven from the field. And then one of two from the free throw line. They trail by ten. They can come with some pressure, see if they can get a turnover. Oh. Mexico will take the quick shot and miss it. No play into the hands for Brazil here. Yago Santos in, lifting that tempo. So we have the crowd here. Here he is. To the inside now, Gias spins. Away, no foul called. Brazil trying to raise this tempo, trying to get it moving. Great move from Gias, but better help coming from Amigo. And Yedo has come back in for Brazil. That is Jorginho. Santos penetrating behind the back. The three ball up short for Miniero. And here comes Mexico. Don't be afraid to run. He's Amigo. Screens. And another turnover for Cruz. And Paco Cruz. A oh, great start for him. Loose. It up on the elbow, actually steps through. Tough shot, doesn't go again. Mexico grabbing in the rebound. I didn't grab it in, excuse me. Getting the rebound as it goes out of bounds this occasion. Just three points for Brazil, though. Can't get anything going here. Needs somebody just to get a little bit of form for them. And stole. It's the pressure from Santos. Yago picks him up again. Stole now. To Amigo. Amigo with a little room. Stays with the offensive glass. He's got to kick that. And they're trying to force it up. Amigo had a kick out. Santos penetrates. Anyone ready to step up and shoot though? Santiago. And now they'll try and isolate a mismatch in the low pass. Post. 
Jorginho kick out, loose, makes it. Well, heady play from Brazil on that occasion. Went to the mismatch, and a bit more patient. Now go again, hound and stole. There you go. Giron has the step. And the bounce. Like he also could have looked to have kicked that. I love the passion the Mexicans play with right now, though. I'll take a couple of those mistakes. As we see, Alpha loose, knocking down the three. A much needed basket for Brazil. It's a foul. There you go. Good for it. Yeah. Easy call for the official. Far too late from Amigo. Yago. Yeah, Sit on to Virginia. His pass on the inside. Felicio. Just great position before the ball came to him. Sealed off Amigo so well. Couldn't do anything about it, could he? Stole now. Gets to the inside. Great recovery from Brazil. Avalos. Oh, he's good on the pull-up. That's a tough shot. Brazil's oh, mini run broken there. They'd scored five in a row. Avalos, five points off the bench now. Jorginho tries to play for the foul. Doesn't get it. Uh, Felicio commits the foul on the rebound. Can see just a little, though, for Mexico. You know, that lead that they had pulled back. And now they're going to be forced to go into their rotation. This is where Brazil is so dangerous. You see Lucas Mariano coming in for his first action for Brazil. The experience and quality he has. Does Mexico have the same thing off the bench in the backcourt? Of course, Jorge Gutierrez, a former NBA player, has it, but he doesn't have the ball. And uh, Jorginho all the way for the dunk. Now that's what we're talking about, Jorginho. The steal and finish, plus the foul. Great work from him. Oh, yeah, good work. Jorginho, just a, an individual effort. Gets the steal from Avalos. Dunks it home. It's a five-point game now. It was just ten just a second ago. And could drop to four with this one. And doesn't go. So it remains five point lead for Mexico. Gutierrez cross court. And now Orlando Mendez. Mendez to the corner. Avalos has the step. <laughs> Avalos can't miss right now. In off the bench, seven points for him. Mariano, quick three. Does he go? And while Brazil want it, a quick game, want to play fast, they've got to be under control as well. Mariano comes to screen. Iago finds him. He'll take another one. That's better, isn't it? Kind of had his feet set that time. Mariano knocks it down as we get inside a, a minute left in this first quarter. Up and down game here. Kick out. Giron can't make it. And Brazil snatching the rebound. Virginio behind the back. Oh, pass. Just telegraphed. Jorge Gutierrez saw it coming, but Iago takes it back away. No one will catch him, but Iago blows the layup. Wow. Well, there is both ways. And now Jorge Gutierrez pulls up for three, misses that badly. Oh, someone needs to get control of this one. Iago does. So let's get it into something slowly here. Shot clock is off. Last shot of this first quarter. Iago waiting. Mariano fakes this shot. Iago steps back in and out. Chance for a rebound. Yeah. Brazil can't 
can't take it cleanly. And that is going to end the first quarter here. What an up and down game this has been. You can see Giron bleeding. That's what he's saying to the referee. But after one, it is uh, Brazil 13, Mexico 17. Oh, a chance to catch a breath with that one. Neither team wanted to slow down. They both like to, like to play fast. Someone's got to make sure that they're controlling it, though. Oh, Mexico said, the question I have is the strength and depth for them, and if they can continue to uh, play a full 40 minutes against uh, this Brazilian team. So far, they've showed their quality, though, Mexico. They are good for their lead, as Chardon's still complaining about the blood. Rightly so. Foul called. Start from him and Mexico. There he is getting his score on the baseline drive. That kicked us off and Mexico raced out to a double-digit lead early on. Impressive looking offense from them. That was the only basket for Brazil for a long time in the first quarter. The little layup from uh, Lima it was all Mexico. All the guys helping out, Paco Cruz, a little cameo, they haven't needed him too much. Making a step back, Brazil. Right now, looking good for their lead. No panic needed from uh, Brazil, just need to uh, keep grinding away. Picking up these steals on the defensive end that will lead to easy things offensively. So make sure you stay up with all the latest streams, schedules, scores and more by downloading the Courtside 1891 app. You could use that QR code just on your screen to get the direct link. So it is first possession of the second quarter, foul against Jorge Gutierrez. Brazil. And with a similar lineup. It's loose, they'll bring it in. Yago. There's another foul, at this time offensive. So Yago picks up the personal. He's out there with uh, Jorginho. Augusto Lima has come in. Loose and Mariano is a big lineup. For Brazil, Gutierrez pulls up, takes it, doesn't go. Jorge Gutierrez, the point guard for Mexico. And Santos goes the three. A shake of the head from him. Brazil now within one. A recovery from them. It was 13 to three, so it's now a 13 4 run in favor of Brazil. Paco Cruz back for Mexico. Alvalos, his first miss. So Alvalos, Cruz, Jorge, and Israel Gutierrez, and then Orlando Mendez out there for the uh, for the Mexicans. Jorginho picks up the switch, goes to Mariano. Now Lima, Lima doubled by Jorge Gutierrez, and a foul is called. That's good defense from Jorge Gutierrez. Across the double team. Knew the mismatch was there. Paco Cruz guarding Lima. Brazil trying to get the denial. Gutierrez breaks it easy. Alvalos all the way. Oh, missed the last one, but now he's four of five, nine points. Alvalos gives Mexico the three point lead now. Virginia goes behind the back, little ball handling display from him as he attacks once more, goes all the way, lays it up. Easy finish in the end for Jorginho. Tough cover he is. Cruz for three, in and out. Jorginho 
to Lima. Lima's got deep position, but Chimpuk doesn't go. And now Mexico can slow this down. Mexico Cruz organizing. He's taken away again, Santos. He got in the way. Santos is frustrated. The referee apologizes, and there's nothing to do about it. It came off Santos last, and it went out of bounds. And the referee, he just couldn't. <laughs> you know, Yago was too quick even for him. There you see. Nothing he could do about it. Yago is so quick with the hands. So now Leo Mendel comes in for Luz. Brazil continue to try and uh, go big. Still playing with uh, Mariano and Lima together. Yes. The score is good. Havelos again, I believe. The game that man is having. Lima. Now, Mendel crosses. It's late. Good work from Mendez. Mexico just using this offensive explosion from Alvalos. 11 points now for him. He's more than half the Mexican total. Santos now is available. Gets deep in the lane, but surrounded by three Mexican jerseys. Does well to somehow keep possession for his team. There's only three seconds on the clock now. He's there, good Gutierrez, waving the finger right in the face of the referee. He's got to be careful. Missed the right call. Came off him last. Three seconds here. Mariano looking to slip. They need to get it in. Good hands from Mendes. Now the clock to two seconds. Mariano's desperate jumper comes up short. And here is Mexico. Cruz gets it back again. Now it waits. Paco Cruz skips it. Alvarez to Jorge Gutierrez. Israel Gutierrez. On a screen for Cruz. He does. Cruz can't get him. That's great work. Is there Gutierrez? And the defense is playing off him. That's exactly what you would hope. Crashes the board. It's hard. It's a freebie for his team. First points for him. Five-point lead once more. It is Jorginho with the ball. He's played well. And Jorginho especially picking up a couple of steals on defense now. Looks to add a three. Khan, the size of Brazil, trying to get on the glass. Cruz, Alvalos, he'll take that. Why not? And everything's so far, Irvin Avalos. And now he'll get a chance for two more at the free throw line. Eleven points. For him, five of six shooting. Did not play in the uh, Defeat against Colombia. So what an introduction he has been here today. Avalos, 31 year old forward, manages to get that one. Yes. Virginia can't get it. Mexico with a smaller lineup, rebounding well. Mendes pushing. Floor quickly, stops. stays again with New Mexico. It is Mendes. Gutierrez on the spin, can't get it to go. Iago with the open floor says, Let's slow this down. It's all the way to the inside, Yago has been electric since coming into this one. Five points for him, but he's consistently got to the paint. And 
Hernandez takes the three. Doesn't get it, it's Lima. To Santos in the move, Yago. Gets it back, thought about the three. Now, draws the switch. To the inside. Now, Jorginho, lovely ball movement from Mexico. And Lima finish. No, he gets an offensive rebound. There's a foul, is called. And there's lovely ball movement from Brazil. It almost deserved a better finish than the one that uh, Lima put in right there. He did do well to keep the ball alive, though. Jorginho goes out. And uh, Hafalus comes in. Who stole the replacement for Mexico as well. It over his shoulder, and offensive rebound and put back is good for Felicio. And he's the big body, he's the big power man on the inside, doing what he's supposed to. Yago, and he stole once more, stole, picks it up. Now he'll take the long three, he can make him from there, and he does exactly that. Paul Stoll has great range on the three ball. Points now for him. And there's a foul is called. So two shots to come for Mendel. You see Stoll nearly on the sideline, he's that far away. Mexico still good for this lead. And Brazil giving him their best shot. If managed to actually extend it in the second period, free throw line makes the first. Second doesn't go. Given to Mexico, Mendel, third leading scorer by average in the New World Cup qualifiers, 13.3 per points per game. Nigo finds the cut in Alvalos, can't get it to go. Nigo keeping it alive. Good work from him. Let's see, nice little pass from Nigo, but watch him follow it up right here. There's an excellent job of uh, just occupying. Brazilian player stopped Lucas Gias from getting the ball. As Mendes knocks down another three for Mexico. They have shot the ball extremely well here. Five of 12 now. There's a team from beyond the three point line as Mendes stretches that lead out for them. Gets it back to seven. Orlando Mendes, and foul. And Mexico starting to pick up fouls. He's going on the right players at this moment in time. And of course, uh... sorry, I thought they brought Pines back, but haven't. He remains out of the game. So they need him with Alvalos having played so well, but he travels there. Precious work for Brazil. A couple of steals and one outs now. And get possession back. Loose. Is it here as the cut comes? Lovely work. Mendel slides in for the easy two. Great recognition from him in the cut. Amigo sells a fake and he moves it on. Avalos Fernandez. Oh, 
The offensive foul, Amigo doesn't like it. Let's have a look. Just turned the shoulder. Didn't need to do it. Afalus was not looking. He was always going to get picked off. Second foul against Amigo. Cordero told to step back. This is the only worry for Mexico right now. They've played so well in this first half, but Jaimes has had to come back into the game. He's playing with foul trouble, and Migo's out there now. He's got two as well. Don't want either of those guys to pick up a third here. For Brazil to go at them a little, Felicio steps out. Now backing it down against Amigo. Three on the clock. He's got to go quick. He doesn't know. Somehow manages to hit the ring and Mendel. What an effort from him to keep it alive. Gias can't get it. And despite the fact that Brazil had the possession, ready for a rebound, it hit the shot clock. Comes the pressure from uh, Brazil. Cruz. It's safely into his hands now. Go Cruz. To Stoll. What a battle three. And now tries to dance with it. We'll take it and bury it. Well, <laughs> Paul Stoll thought about the first one. He said, I'm not in any hurry with this matchup. He liked who he saw guarding him. Just moved it on. He takes it away now defensively. Six point lead. Could be more as Cruz in transition buries another one. And uh, Mexico smoking the nets here. In Brazil, because Paco Cruz pulls up, knocks it down. They are 7 of 14 in this first half now. Our uh, Mexico, there's Paco Cruz hitting his second of the game. players that has hit a three already on the Mexican team. to action 2 10 now left in this first half Iago back onto the floor Jorginho splits between two glides in lovely play Jorginho and well designed there get the ball into his hands let him make a play off that high screen Jaimez foul is going to be called against Lazada Lazada started the game he's not being really seen five and a half minutes Taking two shots, both missed. That's through the screen from Paul Stoll. Third team foul against Brazil, so it'll be sideline possession for Mexico here. There we go. Points for Cruz. This is where I think Paco Cruz is so good. Lovely feed. There we go. Oh, too strong. Now Stoll moves it on. Bullet pass. Cruz just can't get it. Look at Amigo, first man on the floor. The scrum. <laughs> As you have a jump ball, not sure which way the arrow is going. 
Watch this one. Watch the effort from Amigo, though. First man onto the floor. Three Brazilian players around him, and then Stoll thinks he's playing rugby. Yeah, he's going to stay with Mexico, so timeout coming for them. 135 left. They'll draw something up here. Plenty of time on the shot clock. 30 seconds still. But a great opportunity for them with a seven point lead to stretch it out even more. Here it comes. Over the top from Cruz, trying to take the defense with him. Well guarded from Brazil. We saw the play for Mendes, so he's going to take the runner now. Can't get it. Amigo, the only man for Mexico in the paint, surrounded by three Brazilian uh, defenders, gets the rebound. And look at this ball movement from Mexico. Just swinging it around as now they will isolate Stoll to Amigo. Amigo has it rejected. One second left on the shot clock. So we better get it in. Shot clock's been moved to two seconds. Here comes Mendes. Takes it, rejected by. Felicio, good work from him. Most importantly, did it without fouling. It is the kick out. Jorginho now, trying by seven, hesitating, waiting. Tax against Cruz, loses him. Can't hit it. Offensive rebound for the CO fouled. So Felicio at the line. Tough shot, somehow gets it to go. 30 seconds left then. You see we'll look towards the bench. Yeah, go. He says, let's wait, get organized here. Screen coming from Felicio. Yago. Uses the second screen, pulls up for three, can't get it. Rebound taken in. Time for Cruz. Cruz will look to push here. Oh, gets it back again, pulls up. Can't get it to go. A couple of tips. We're in time, but they won't go. But what a first half this is for Mexico. Coach Quinton looking on, and he must be delighted with the first 20 minutes. It is half time. Brazil 30, Mexico 38.
Brazil have lost their last two games of qualification. Could they be heading to a third straight defeat? Mexico first half performance have been superb. And everything you could have hoped for. They've shot the ball from the three-point line exceptionally. Look, seven made threes for them in comparison to just three from Brazil. They've done a great job battling on the boards as well. Look, five uh, rebound advantage. It just seemed to be a step quicker everywhere right now in this first 20 minutes. And Brazil going to have some work to do. Alvalos off the bench leads the way with all scorers, 12 points for him. And Jorginho de Paula leads Brazil with seven. Highlights from that first 20 minutes there. And, uh, as we said, an impressive start for Mexico. They opened it up a double digit lead. And haven't really looked back. A couple of times Brazil have threatened, put themselves back into the game, but every time they've needed, someone from Mexico has stepped up with a big shot. Seven threes for them, as we just saw, and uh, contributions from all over. But, uh, eight players having scored. Avalos off the bench, 12 points. There he is in just 12 minutes. And really, you know, look at the uh, the lead guys, Paco Cruz and Paul Stoll. And we have six and nine respectively, but just such great percentages from them too as well, because they're five of eight combined. The thing for them to look at is the eight turnovers in the first half for Mexico. And it could have been a different game if they'd managed to look after the ball for Brazil. Marco's come in and played well. Five points for him. And, uh, nobody really taken this game by the uh, off of the neck for Brazil. It's got to start on the defensive end, really. They've got to find a way to slow down this Mexico attack. Because they really want to play fast Brazil. Seems to just be opening the game from Mexico. And a bit more space to play. And getting them to be able to go against a, a broken defense. And there is Iago slicing in for two of his five. As you can see, Stoll knocking it down. He's a perfect three of three from the field. Big Brazil, a couple of uh, bigger lineups on the floor to dominate the glass, but still Mexico lead there as well. Mexico leading 38 to 30 against Brazil. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of the entire nation? Representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. My goal against caught in a ultra double team. Do sit down! Ay, Dios mío! Well, Almanza! Again. Oh, pump 
fake. Wonderful play by Hesla Gian. And now the turnover, and here comes Bahamas pushing it quickly. Another alley -oop slam. Goodness me, this is just one long highlight reel of Kai Jones. Just steps back, takes a tough three. Oh, oh, oh Trayvon Waters buries it. How? How did it go? Just trying to get their job done. Obviously, a lot of hullabaloo over this player, and he's thrown it down. Herte. Seconds, two seconds. Walters gives it up. Ortiz gets a good look and buries it. Well, wow, that's a great play from Puerto Rico, and they make it a single digit game. We'll start to now, Alu. And good night, Las Vegas. One more time. And who else is it? Daquan Jeffries. Batista now for a second, spins around and Batista! Well, ay Dios mio. Well, goodness gracious, give this man some credit. Another steal here now, what do we have here by Luciano Parodi? Parodi gets rejected! Well! Goodness gracious. Well, let me tell you something. That is incredible. And a massive throwdown, Angel Delgado. Huge, huge play. Just what Dominican Republic needed off another offensive rebound. Panama were gonna play in the end.
Half time here. As Mexico have a 38 to 30 lead over Brazil. If you're just joining us, Brazil in second place in Group F. Mexico tied for third. And the story really is that uh, Brazil come into this one on the back of a two game losing streak in qualification. They will not want to uh, make it three, but right now everything is about Mexico and the way they've played in this first 20 minutes. They've deserved their lead. They've outplayed Brazil in many areas. And so Brazil, after winning their opening five games of qualification, in danger of dropping their third straight here. Remember, the top three teams will qualify for the 2023 World Cup. And we'll see what happens in this second 20 minutes. Will it be Mexico that continue to maintain their lead? Or will it be a Brazilian team with possession now making a comeback? That's not the way they started. As they've got the five on the floor, Jorginho, uh, Cristiano Felicio, who turned the ball over there. Rafa Luz, Rafa Miniero, and Iago out there. For Mexico, it is uh, their starting lineup. Stoll, Jaimes, Giron, Cruz, and Amigo. The one thing to watch for Mexico, if you're just joining us, is foul trouble. And I want to pick up any cheap ones for some key guys, as Giron now has it. Trying to find some room. Shot clock getting low for him. Finds Amigo. Amigo lays it up. Well, Brazil continue to have that aggressive coverage, and Mexico just look like they know it's coming prepared for it they're getting easy shots every time Eugenio into the lane hangs gives it a Felicio for an easy two so no changes yet from Brazil said they just keep jumping out on the ball screens and even Amigo free on the roll Let's see if they do it again again once more Amigo just wide open something for Mexico every time quick passes out there's no pressure on the ball and it is far too easy and they now have a 10-point lead. In the post, Virginia De Bala loses it. And Mexico from the other way, Stoll. Oh, lovely feed from Stoll. And Hamath will be at the line. Restricted just has nine minutes in that first half. Fabian Jaimez due to foul trouble. He said in the first 20 minutes, I see him as a real kind of a key guy for the Mexico team. Not necessarily their best player. That's probably Paco Cruz or uh, Paul Stoll in the backcourt. But Jaimez just plays in a way that gives him some versatility. He can stretch the floor and make jump shots, but it's just such an excellent rebounder for his size as well. One of two. Virginia the other way. Felicio. And the screen. Barco. Find some room. It's another one to come. Barco looks off his leg. Great hands for Paco Cruz. Yeah, Cruz tips it away. He knew straight away. He took off. I'm not sure again why. Yago's complaining. They see, yeah, clearly off his leg. So Mexico, an 11 point lead now. Marcelino Huertas is back into the game and they need him to be at his best. Huertas, just five minutes, minus 11 when he was on the floor. He's yet to score. On average, Huertas is their leading scorer, but talking of leading scorers, Paco Cruz makes another three he's got nine and it is an eight to two start here for mexico in this third quarter brazil i mean there's silence in the arena here fans in Jaraguel don't know what to say O chute de três pontos é do pequeno. A gente mudou agora a defesa. 
Caralho, velho! Enquanto dá uma merda o ataque, vocês estão jogando bola na arquibancada, foda-se! Agora aqui na defesa não pode parar, caralho! É 15 pontos em dois minutos, porra! Alguém tem dúvida que nós vamos fazer aqui na defesa, não? Você vai defender, você vai defender o posto, você defende ele. A bola saiu da mão dele e não deixa receber. Na saída de bloqueio, vocês têm que se falar. Tem bloqueio entre os pequenos, troca entre os pequenos. Vamos, 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 vamos. And we see that Brazil out of the timeout. Let's see what they can do. Nice screen for Huertas. Huertas, nothing on, backs it out. Shot clock getting low again. They just can't seem to break back down this Mexican defense into Huertas. And he steps up. Tough shot he makes, showing his quality. Go against Luce. So to gain momentum. And Brazil right now. There's another look at the foul from Luce just holding onto the arm of Stoll. Amiga has it. And they help come in. And this Felicio finds it over to Cruz. Cruz. Jump shot short, so now tries to build at least three possessions in a row here. Brazil, they got the score, and it is stopped. Now, Felicio down the middle, that's going to get the crowd into it between the legs from Huertas. And uh, I think Mexico are going to call a swift timeout here. They do not want this crowd to get into the game, they do not want Brazil to get momentum. Timeout, but one just to control things for Mexico. They don't want their momentum to shift. They've worked so hard to uh, build up this lead, to get in this position as now Brazil will come with a trap. Mexico left to look after it. Cruz will take the quick three. Bury another one. And Paco Cruz at his best is, is unstoppable. I mean, he is unplayable right now. That makes another three, 12 points for him, four of seven from the field. Right, that's his jumper, doesn't go. Minus nice on the glass, and the foul is called against Guertas. Starts the transition, gives Brazil that chance to, you know, come with some full court defense here. Continues, they're chasing one, they're trying to play the set tempo game. It, it suits Mexico as well. to Giron, Giron, has the step, no defense at all, it's just too easy for Mexico right now, two more for Giron, a 15 point lead, Mexico over Brazil, here. in Brazil, another turnover, still stolen away, Giron picks it up, finds Cruz, Cruz to Amigo, Look at the ball movement. Giron even has time to sell the fake, get even more space as he buries it. Brazil might have to burn another timeout here. 
you know, just nothing working for them. They've even got to make some some subs or a timeout. They've got to do something different right now because the game is quickly going to be over. An offensive foul. Felicio, a legal screen. Now one substitution is going to come in. Mariano. See Felicio just running over, stole. This is the other end. Too easy, Jaron, little fake. Steps to the side and you can see there's a happy man on the bench for Mexico, isn't it? Right, so, coach uh, Omar Quintero. His team rolling right now. He's got a chance to make this a 20-point game. Cruz. So controlled. Inside out. For stole, but it was tipped. 12 seconds still. Quarter so far. And he go now. No room for him to go one on one. He's off balance. And Mariano with the rebound. Puertas gives it to Jorginho. Jorginho attacks with his left. And he go fouled. And he go commits the foul, excuse me. And he's going to be number three. Amigo, I believe, yes, yeah, good call. So the fouls for Mexico. Three on Amigo, two on Jaimez, two on Jorge Gutierrez, two on Orlando Mendez. The other way, Afalus has two for Brazil. And Liano, and that's going to be another one. Amigo could have picked up number four here. Let's see, Cruz is trying to con the official. See if he can pick it up. But it's a clear foul. Nico's got to be smarter than that. He's got three fouls. He's so important to this team. So long to go. Even if you, you let Mariano go, let him get the uh, easy two. He's still got the 16-point lead. But now nico has gone out. Isaiah Gutierrez is going to have to play a long stretch indeed. Probably around 10 minutes before... Amigo can come back. Mariano makes number one. One of three from the field, Mariano. Chilon snatches in the rebound. They've done an excellent job. It's been upsize Mexico, but Competing on the glass all the time. Stole fouled. Team fouls against Brazil now. So Stole gets some freebies from the line. He's uh, four of eight, 12. Oh, excuse me. It's Paco Cruz. Sport Stole is three of three. Not to miss from the field, and from the other three-point line. Which is double digits with that. Mm -hmm. See his numbers. Another great game in the Mexico jersey for Paul Stoll. Team. Who would have thought it? Lazada fouled and lays it up. It's going to be basket good. Yeah. The bench looks on. Lazada all the way. It's been rare that uh, Brazil have been able to break this Mexico defense like that. A foul against Cruz. Bench looks on for Brazil. Lazada, first points of the game for him. That's the bonus as well. Can he get going? 
Ooh, just manages to get out of bounds. Stoll takes off. Now he finds Gutierrez. Brazil chasing. Mexico can take their time now. They want Jaimez to set the screen. Offensive foul. That's going to be a third on Jaimez now. So Moretta still complaining about the call at the other end, but this is a bigger one. You know, this could help them even more because the offensive foul, we said this is where Mexico could come undone. Third foul on Jaimez. Is he going to have to go out? He is. Well, of course, Avalos, who was his replacement in that first half, ended up being the leading scorer. Had more than half their team's points at one stage. Right now, he has 12 points. It's Jorginho looking to attack on the mismatch. Lazada wants it. Jorginho is going to take a tough one. Doesn't get it. Offensive rebound now. Lazada does have it. Fakes, goes. Gets all the way for two. Here comes Brazil. Led by Didi Lazada. And got it back to 14. Stoll to Giron. Foul, so this will be two more shots. Even with the deficit, Brazil getting a lot of scoring off their bench, but you know, said it's not to be expected. Mexico, they uh, don't really have the quality and depth that Brazil have. But they've got performances all over. You know, guys like Orlando Mendes have come in, they've done their job, and exactly what they have to do to help their team. And that is all that matters right now. On, makes number one. Cruz is going to get a breather here. Chiron short on the second. Sina Huertas still looks motivated for his team. And off for Lazada. Now, Mariano trying to set the screen. Lazada. Oh, that's lovely. Didi Lazada started attacking the rim now. Third time he's got there in the last couple of minutes. He's dragging his team back into this one. It's not pretty from Brazil necessarily, but it's effective as Jordan dances the baseline. Three from Mendes. Doesn't go. Here comes Brazil. Huertas. Quickly into a set. Comes off the screen. And now they want it to go to Lazada once more. He goes into the post. Didi Lazada squares up. No help. So he's going to attack once more with his left hand. Doesn't get the drop this time. And nearly comes back to him. Instead, Mariano picks it up. And now Huertas has a fresh 14 to play. Finds Jorginho. Jorginho perhaps should have gone all the way to Mariano. He comes up short. A couple of good options. Good efforts for Brazil, but they failed to capitalize. And so the lead remains at 13 here. Stoll off the screen. Giron finds uh, Alvalos. Good rebound, well won by Mariano. Here comes Huerta, Huerta, smart pass over the top. The tip is good. Is it going to count? Lovely pass from Huerta says, yes. That's the mismatch. Just smart play from Brazil, this. Here's Huerta on the push. Yes, sealing off his man. Draws the foul against Stoll. So the two will be good. And a chance for the bonus point as well. This could be a 10 point game after this one. Jorge Gutierrez comes in. First points of the game for Lucas Gias that. This one, 
Alphalous comes in it for Brazil as the sub. Yes, successful. It's a 10 point game. Mendes for Gutierrez. Is it out to Jorge Gutierrez? He kicks it. Oh, lovely. The backdoor cut. Yeah, interference. Mariano says no, but he touched, the he touched it. He hit the backboard, then he hit the ball. Let's have another look. And I thought, correct call straight away. Jorge Gutierrez off the backboard and then touched by Mariano. Yep. Great call from the officials. Huertas trying to find some room. Takes the three. Nope. Isn't good. Jerome snatches in another rebound. Jorge Gutierrez here holding and waiting. Pressure defense from Brazil. Gutierrez gets his man on his back. Plays for the foul. It doesn't matter. Gets it to go. Gutierrez you know, is an experienced backup. His time in the NBA with uh, Brooklyn Nets, among other teams. There's the try from Luz rejected. Stays for Brazil. Shot clock to nine. 37 on the game clock. From Mendes to just stay with it. So just managed to get in bounds. Quite as falls to the floor. It's cool for the travel. He's frustrated. Let's try to get up with the ball. After cutting the lead all the way back to 10. And Mexico now have a chance to push it out once more. Could go two for one here. I'm not sure they've got time. Oh, here, yeah, Gutierrez gets the elbow. Finds Mendez. Mendez pulls up, knocks it down. Great work, Orlando Mendes. Five points now for him. Final shot of the third quarter up for uh, Brazil. They'll hold here. Final six seconds, loose. Kicks it, Mariano for three. They need it, it's too strong. Chiron with another defensive rebound. And Mexico continue with their strong play. They win another quarter as they push this lead out even more. It's Brazil 47, Mexico 63. Three-point shooting, still the massive disparity in favor of Mexico. Ten makes for them, just a three of 18 shooting from Brazil. Uh, more highlights and more Mexico. Really, another strong quarter for them. They won it 25 to 17. They've won all three periods now. And uh, you know, you've got to say this is an upset. If Mexico can take this final 10 minutes, Brazil can play so well in the early stages of qualification, playing at home, of course. They could fall to their third straight defeat here if they can't put together you know, one of their best ever fourth quarters. No offensive rhythm, just can't seem to get going as a collective. Brazil, you know, a player will step up for you know, different plays, but as a whole, they just haven't found that unit that works, either offensively or defensively. And, uh, 
Like we said, it's kind of a, a bit easy for Mexico right now. That's exactly what they're doing. They've got the confidence. Fourth quarter underway. Mexico with the sizable lead. They have possession. They're up 14 here as uh, Mendes will take the tough one and buries it. That, I think, shows you what a night the Mexico are having. Orlando Mendes catches fake, spins on the spot, and then buries the three. Lazada has got to the ring consistently. But look at the coverage from Mexico there. Pretty much five guys in the paint to stop him. So he goes to the outside and misses this one. It is Mendez, just made one three. Goes to the runner, and it's good. And Orlando Mendez stepping up right here. Five in a row for him. Another missed three from Brazil. Huertas, on this occasion, couldn't get it to drop. If they don't start hitting those threes, they've got no chance of coming back in this one. Pressure coming from Brazil. They go for the quick steal, don't get it. Here comes Mexico. Open look, Mendes. And move it on, and now Jorge Gutierrez says, let's slow it down. Finds Gutierrez, sets the re-screen, Gutierrez. Nope, and on this occasion, Jorginho makes the rebound. It's fouled, it's just a regular foul, so sideline possession. Brazil then. Can they make any headway into this lead? Jorginho can't finish over the size of Israel Gutierrez. It does a good job just challenging the shot there. No opportunity for Mexico. They can get this lead even larger. They can run even more time off the clock. It's all working in their favor right now. What a great win this will be for them as Mendes takes the jump shot, doesn't go. Look at the offensive rebound. Israel Gutierrez. He said it, but the backdoor cut for Giron just skins his man, and Brazil will call a timeout. They need it. You know, there's nothing they can do to slow down this Mexican offense right now. You can see the backdoor cut. Jadon just ghosts along the baseline. Jorginho, a horrible breakdown from him. Um passo agressivo e voltou, os outros também estão em zona. O resto do trocar e trocar agressivo. Com o Léo, com o Didi, trocar e trocar agressivo, tá certo? Lá tudo bola rápida. Chegou na lateral, é duplo. Quem pega a bola, joga duplo sempre. O Léo, o Didi ou o Iago. Chegou com a bola na lateral, primeiro bloqueio aberto, quem, seja quem for. Segundo bloqueio, escorrega rápido. Toma a leitura do que tá acontecendo aqui no primeiro bloqueio para ver se vai fazer ou se vai escorregar. Vamos lá. Vai, bora, bora, Here we see some of the clips from Mexico. And they're all good. Coach Montero uh, is a happy man as a substitution comes in for Brazil to try and spark some life into them. Here's the first action for uh, Gabriel Galvanini. 
Let's see what he can do. He's fouled in the first possession. That's what he can do. Mexico lead. Never thought I'd be saying that. Here tonight, Yago stops. Gives it up. Gias fouled on his way to the basket. So Lucas Gias will be there ready to shoot. Yes, good. He's had a slightly better second half. This is yes. This is two for two. But still the lead maintained by Mexico. And you can't just let them have one pass over the top and then they're away against the pressure. The first thing you're going to do is one, two, two. Make sure they catch the ball in front of you where you have a chance of uh, of trapping them. Instead, the guard just ran past all three of the defenders, and that's it. And a four and three was always going to occur. A four against two, in fact. Sideline possession. Mexico have it, plus a big lead. Hamas back out to Stoll. Stoll draws the switch, tries to play against Galvanini, shoots over the top of him, doesn't get it. Mm, nearly an offensive rebound. Brazil escaped, though. Blocking foul against Giron. Just the fourth team foul against uh, Mexico, so it'll be sideline possession. Mendel trying to get to the middle. Faces looking on. We'll see Paco Cruz coming back into the game. What a break that was for Cruz. He had three minutes before the three quarter break and three minutes after. So it's like an eight minute rest for him. Expect to see him all the way through here in the last seven minutes as a foul is going to be called in his offenses. Offensive Galvanini fresh into the game. Again, it's an easy call. Jorge Gutierrez enters it to uh, Avalos. Now Gutierrez turns, shoots over. The smaller man can't get it. Yago, Brazil looking to push it. Turns it back again. Nice little fake. Takes the three. Yago, too strong. Rebound taken in by Mendel. And he's got to try and generate some offense somewhere. Taken away, Lozada penetrates, kicks, Gias. Lucas Gias makes it, crowd love it, they need him. They need Brazil to get going here. A rare three-point make for them tonight. Lozada commits the foul. There you see Lozada on the drive. Did that in the third quarter as well, put his head down, got all the way to the paint. There you go. Well, he sat for about nine minutes there. Israel Gutierrez has done a great job. Hopefully they're gonna get about four minutes, five minutes perhaps out of Amigo as the miss. For Galvanini, the credit to Jorge Gutierrez, hustling back, great defense on that occasion for Amigo. Before finally Brazil get it to go, but 
You know, it was 15 to 20 seconds of great defense from Mexico. Even though they didn't get the stop, they just took time away. And you see Amigo fumbling the inbound pass. But he doesn't give up. Israel Gutierrez gets a piece of it there. And we'll see Amigo coming back into the picture soon. And he is challenging without fouling. We're in the bonus. We're in the bonus. Hey, Fabian. Happy Mexican bench, and why not? There is Giron and a beautiful little cut. They just continue to make plays. Every question that's been asked by this Brazilian team, Mexico have found the answer. Get the ball in here, and they break the press once more. Stoll gets it into Jorge Gutierrez. Now Cruz coming high, fakes using the screen, drives. And that'd be another personal foul, so Mexico will shoot two more here. Cruz steadies himself. Too strong. Cruz can go two for two from the line for Mexico. They are five of ten now. Oh, he misses us too. Marco Cruz, 0 for 2 from the line. Luckily, I haven't seen that important right now as this is a 16 point game. Could be less than that. Strong drive. Mandel just splits between two or three defenders. Work right from him. But the time ticking down, five and a half left in this fourth quarter. And up the line for two shots. Makes that one. So Mandel trying to add a second. Does so. actually called against timers as well so you notice that but that is number four on him and Nico has three he's out there so you want the turnover just off GS last and just did well to keep it in bounds really Cruz Trying to find that room. Turnover. Gives it back. It's Brazil on the run here. Iago stops. Thinks about it. Now he'll pull it out. Iago beats Amigo for speed. Can't get the finish. It'll be two shots here. Who's the foul against? That's the question. against uh, Jaimes, if it's him, that's four, I believe. And that's actually five back-to-back -back fouls for Jaimes, so he is going to lead the game, restricted to just 14 points. Sorry, 14 minutes, three points, two rebounds for him. Frustrating evening comes to an end, but surely if uh, Mexico can hold on here, that will not sour his enjoyment of this win. Iago 
The first is good. This looks on. Not his best game in a Brazilian jersey, that's for sure. Two for two. Turned over, it is turned over. Stoll trying to take it in bounds, but really got open. Turn over, gives it back. That's not a great inbound pass, was it? As a quick three up and a foul. Three free throws here. Mexico need to regroup. Leo Mandel will be at the line to shoot three shots here. Still going to be a sizable lead for Mexico. They just need to calm down. Mandel, five of six from the stripe, will be shooting three here, clearly behind the line. Fast doesn't go. Here. 14 for 21. And then this is another one. Yeah. And I've been making these plays when it matter. Brazil steadies himself for the third. Going to get one point at least. He does. Still remains at that sizable lead. 11 here. Brazil are going to chase, they commit the foul, both teams are in the bonus, so two shots to come. An easy way out perhaps for Mexico, but they've got to keep making free throws now. Cruz for two. Makes number one. That's Paco Cruz. 13 points now for him. And just it go. Uh, currently plays in the Turkish top division. Played there for the last few years. Since uh, 2020. And removed from Aritas Vilnius. And he's played for some good European clubs. Efriga, Fuenlabrada, Vilnius. Tofash as well. So a lot of discussion from that sideline, from the Brazilian bench. This first is good for Amigo. Can he make a pair? Who's failed to do it after Mandel failed to do it? Two for two is good for Amigo then. Once more, just a little bit of breathing room for Mexico, keep saying it. Brazil kind of keep getting themselves close. Iago for three, that'll get him close up. And then every time they just get to this sort of 10 point mark, Mexico come with a couple of good plays to build that lead for themselves. And there's Amigo trying to find an opening. To Gutierrez, Gutierrez draws the switch, beats him, finds Amigo. Amigo can't finish, but he will be back to the line. Called two shots to come. Amigo tonight, two of two. That's it, the pressure to him as he misses the first. He 
this is not the time. Yes. A technical foul has been awarded against Leo Mandel. Discussions, passionate discussions from uh, Coach Gustavo Gondi. Trying to figure out what is going on. Painting his cause. And Stoll will shoot the free throw here. Weaknesses. Nobody can make them from Mexico right now. So it'll be Amigo. Let's go back to the line now. It could be anyone to shoot this one. Stoll will take it again after missing. So two straight technical fouls called against Brazil. Mexico getting just one point from them, though. And now the second free throw for Amigo. And then out. Gavanini snatches in the rebound. Here comes Iago. Iago will be playing in Europe this year for Rathafam Um. As the three is made, but a foul also before that. So play stop, time stopped. We've got both teams in the foul uh, bonus. So this will be two shots here. Yes, makes it, needs it. Started to step up now as Lucas Gias. 11 points for him, only three of six from the field. Two for two, doesn't matter if someone's in early, still counts. You see the intensity of Gias there. They trail by 10, four minutes left. Plenty of time to come back into this one, but they've got to get stops. They've got to try and slow down. This Mexican offense is an offensive foul. That's the way. And that is going to be good night. And Amigo. And Daniel Amigo is going to be the second Mexican player to foul out here. Oh, no. That is number four. My mistake. Oh, it's just so obvious. Amigo needs to keep his head. He needs to stay on the floor. Try and hide him here if they can. 344 remaining. We're not in overtime, as the caption says. Thought I'd missed an entire quarter there. We are in the fourth period here. Brazil leading it 17 to 11. We need more though, still their trail. Thiago. Tries to give it to them. First man to the rebound. It bounces out. Mexico ball. Amigo going down to the opposite end. Marco nearly got a hand on this one. Oh, just tipped it on the way out to Niago. Didn't quite keep it in. Crowd, I think you can see they want to push. Shido has sorry, Mendel's going to commit the foul. Stoll just with some smart play, got in front of his man, stopped, knowing that he was going to run in the back of him. There you see. So, that's no foul. Jorginho coming back in and replaces Mendel. And the Huerta, so it remains on the bench. Still in and out. Seven of ten of 25 for Mexico here. A little hang of the head from Orlando Mendez. It's good for Stoll. 
11 point game. Yaga. The three from Gias. Can't get it. Tip no good. And a bounds will stay with Brazil. Good work on the glass, Galvanini. Trying to make the cut, not open, it's deflected. Who's going to get their first ass on Sportsman like foul, is it not? Well, <laughs> yeah, Jorge, good. Yeah, he's looking around because he was taken out. As he was trying to chase down the ball, and I feel like he would have got there. But play continues. Yago. Looking to attack. Switch crosses over a couple of times and is fouled. So two shots to come for him. Clock is stopped. It's a nice reverse from uh, Iago. Defense anticipated him going to his left hand. Reversed it with his right to get right into the body of the uh, defender trying to block his shot. And Brazil make these from the line. Fast is good. to make it a single-digit game. Yago Gets it. Twelve now for him. Giron looking to come back in. Stole. Immediately trapped. Brazil did a good job defensively. Stole. Gets it over the top and then the layup drops for um, Mexico. It was Alvalos. He's had a quiet second half. First basket for him. Gias falling to the floor. So it's not Gias, is it? It is Gabriel Galvanini. So, Gerard looking on. 11. Point game, Galvanini. Yet to score here, but it's plus 12 when he's been on the floor. Fails to make that one. It's plays like this, Brazil, they need them. They've got to be perfect for this final. 247. Second, no, rebound. Tipped twice by Lazada, but he couldn't take in the ball. Stole. Offensive foul, well. He just went straight into the body of Yago, trying to hold him off. Oh, he wrapped the arm. Yeah, good call. So Stole just kind of clamped around the arm of Yago. Now he's on four fouls. And overtime here would be very interested indeed. Mexico may run out of bodies before then. There we go. Draws it against Chiron. Chiron for for house now. Yago has caused uh, many a defender to be in trouble guarding him. It's tough to stop. Foul them all out here before the end. Needs to make free throws first. Nope. Yago. Four or five from the line. 
makes the second. It's a ten point game still. No one in a hurry to make the uh, inbound here. Shadon trying to find somebody. They've used those lob passes over the top well of uh, Mexico. Often seen as a dangerous pass, but not right here. As now Cruz can hold, can wait. Draws the switch on Gias. Gias organising the defence behind him. Cruz will wait for five. Cross court. Alvalos kicks it now. Gutierrez for three. Doesn't get it, but and they used up a full 24 there, Mexico. So they'll be happy. Gias the other way. Can't get it. Lazada takes the difficult three. He doesn't get it. Another offensive rebound. Time ticking away for Brazil. They need shots to go. Lazada still. Oh, he does. Gets the friendly roll and eventually gets them. Gets it to drop. 135 left. It's a seven-point game. Stoll moves it on. Alvalos passes deflected. They're chasing the game. Ah, oh, Brazil, but now they've got to try to hold on here for this final five-second shot clock. Jorge Gutierrez takes the jumper. Doesn't get it. It's a foul against Giron. It's an offensive foul, though, so it won't be two shots. It's going to be... Well, it is going to be two shots, sorry, because there's no possession. Referee signal offensive foul, but it isn't, because nobody had it. The ball was... Uh, in possession of either team. Jadon just undercut the man on the rebound. Here's Lazada for three. What a friendly roll that is. Still, Brazil they can make two here. They will still have that belief. Could be a five-point game with a minute and 13 seconds to go. Galvanini needs to make two. Hasn't happened very often for Brazil from the line. And that's the first. And give them a bit of confidence. First point of the night for Galvanini. First free throw. One of three. Trying to make some noise, but he gets the pair. So it is that five point game now. Brazil don't need to foul yet. They can have a quick shot from Mexico or a turnover. Brazilian defense switching. They, Mexico get it to Paco Cruz sensibly. Oh, but it's tipped away. Now they can't foul. Shot clock to seven. Alvalos. Jorge Gutierrez looking around. Cruz for three. In and out. And the rebound goes to Mexico. A great tip was it Amigo that kept it alive for his team. Shot clock is down to 10, so they can't foul now. Brazil, they've got to hold. They've got to get the rebound, though. Don't any miss. Stoll takes it. And Paul Stoll may well have sealed the game here for Mexico with his fourth three of the night. Four of four for Stoll. We're inside 30 seconds left. Thiago tries to respond, he can't. Stoll with the rebound and a foul is called. Well, three-point shooting is the difference here tonight. The big hit from Stoll. And then going the other way, Brazil can't hit it when it matters. And look at that, the Mexican bench, they think this is done. There's Thiago on the miss. Stoll first to the loose ball again as he is fouled. But this is the dagger in the hearts of the Brazilian crowd here. Quick release from Stoll. It's an eight-point game with 20 seconds to go. Stoll for two more at the line. Putting on his numbers. Oh. 16 points for him. He's a perfect four of four from the field. Paul Stoll. One of the threes. He's also added four from six from the free throw strike. Mexico don't have fouls to give. 
throw. Oh, misses the pair. One final chance, perhaps. Brazil. Lozada takes the hit. Can't get it to go. Gutierrez with the rebound. No foul coming. Mexico are going to get one extra score. Just push that lead out even more, thinking about points difference. As the timeout is called. Remember, games or teams that finish on the same record, it will come down to first a head-to-head -head and then potentially a, a points difference, a little league table. So Brazil thinking about the return game between these two teams. 5.5 seconds to go. They need to worry about what they're going to do offensively here. One final chance for them to get some points on the board here, Brazil. The game is done. Mexico will be the victors. It's just a question of by how many. Yeah, we see a friendly bounce, but a rare three-point make for Brazil on that one. That's been the difference, the three-point shooting. Paul Stoll showing him how it's done. Four of four for him. So coming in from the side, Nazada. Gias for three. Doesn't go. Offensive rebound, Jorginho. He does not get it away in time, though. And that is the game. A famous victory here for Mexico on the road as they take this one 82 to 72 over Brazil. Smiles all round as we see the confirmation. Brazil 72, Mexico 82. A superb game from the Mexicans. They led from start to finish. They opened up an early lead and never looked back. Brazil a couple of times threatened and they may make it a, a close one, but they never led here as Mexico led by for 39 of the 40 minutes. And the big difference, the three-point shooting, 12 threes from Mexico, six for Brazil on 42% uh, against just 20%. Rebounding battle in favour of Brazil, as you'd expect, with the size advantage they had, but they just couldn't make it pay. Stoll and Alvalos, 16 apiece. Paco Cruz, 13. Iago led the way for Brazil with 13 of his own. Brazil dropped to three straight defeats in World Cup qualification then. Mexico break. A losing streak of their own with a big victory here today. And will do their qualification chances a world of good. Right, after two straight defeats for the Mexican team, they get a road win against Brazil. Now we see the results. 
Now for game day eight, Colombia versus USA. Uruguay taking on Puerto Rico later. As we will see the Group F standings. Brazil now dropped to five and three. The same record as Mexico. Uruguay and Puerto Rico have a chance to join them with that record later on, depending on.